Let's get to this controversy surrounding the University of North Carolina women's basketball team. So we are now starting to get hints as to why this week the Tar Heels suddenly put its entire women's basketball coaching staff on leave. According to the Washington Post, players are accusing Sylvia Hatchell, the school's Hall of Fame women's basketball coach, of making what they're calling racially offensive remarks and pressuring some players to continue playing even though they were seriously injured. So let me bring in uh, USA Today sports columnist and CNN sports columnist Christine Brennan and Christine you know UNC is my alma mater so I read this this morning as well in the post and so just to be specific the post writes that these racially offensive remarks include quote one suggesting her players would get hanged from trees with nooses at an upcoming game if their performance didn't improve. Now, I read that the coach's lawyer says that those comments are incorrect and misconstrued, saying that she said they're going to take a rope and string us up and hang us out to dry. Tell me what you know and how much you know about this coach. Brooke, I have covered Sylvia Hatchell. She's been around as the North Carolina head coach since 1986, won the national championship in 1994. One of the players on that team, none other than Marion Jones, mm. the Olympic gold medalist then disgraced for steroid use. So uh, she is, as you said, a Hall of Famer, well-known, respected, uh, 67 years old. So her entire career, uh, for over 40 years of coaching women's basketball, she's been in the limelight and she has been watched. This really surprised me. I did not, uh, as a journalist covering her over the years, certainly would have no idea what's being said in team meetings, in practices, et cetera. I think, Brooke, the bottom line is if Sylvia Hatchell, if it's found out, if the investigation from North Carolina finds that she, in fact, said words like noose, rope, hung by a tree, whatever, uh, I think she would have to be gone. I just cannot imagine an educator and a coach in 2019 uh, surviving something like that. Yeah. As we also mentioned, she is accused of pressuring players to continue despite their injuries. Quote, one later learned she needed corrective shoulder surgery. Another learned she'd had a torn tendon in her knee. A third said Hatchell had cast doubt on whether she had suffered a concussion. And, you know, in this reporting this morning, I had read, Christine, that several of these players have applied. They've already applied to transfer schools. So... What do you think needs to happen? It, well, again, uh, she's got an attorney, and there's an investigation, as you know, from UNC. So they will get to the bottom of this. Uh, the numbers, the strength in numbers of the team certainly speak volumes, and when you're hearing it from more than one disgruntled player. But if players are not happy, and we know this from the past, men's and women's basketball, any sport, that sometimes people are not entirely happy if they're not playing or they're angry with the coach or whatever. So you have to throw that in the mix, but the numbers, the, the amount, uh, the intensity of these comments, uh, they, they are something that obviously have to be looked at. And if, as I said, if they're true, I think she's gone. Uh, and the, the issue of concussions and the issue of, of injuries and playing through injuries, the old playing tough thing from the 50s and 60s, those days also are long gone. There is the question of the team doctor. And potentially is it the doctor's fault as opposed to the coach's fault. So there is more, again, investigation to be done here. But on the night, the same day that the women's Final Four is being played in Tampa, great teams, Notre Dame, Connecticut, Oregon, and Baylor playing. The, the, the greatest day in women's basketball each year is today. And unfortunately, journalistically, we have to do this, Brooke, but unfortunately, yeah. this is the topic of conversation. And that, yeah. that's too bad for the sport of women's basketball. May the best team win. Christine Brennan, thank you. Brooke, thank you.